In this video, we're going to show you how to add a video gallery to your website. You can use Vimeo links, you can use YouTube links, you can sort them by category. It's all really great. So we're going to go ahead and walk through that now. Hey everyone, my name is Donald from Brainstorm Force and I make WordPress video tutorials of our products. If you're new here, consider subscribing to our channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. So on the video gallery, so I'm going to show you guys a few examples here. So we have a way to make these filterable. So we have our categories over here, as you can see, and we have all six of these videos right here. You notice that when we hover over top of them, we get a title in the category. And then we also have this custom red play button right here. We also have a nice grid effect right here, the six of them right here. And then if we scroll down, we can actually see that we can do multiple different styling options with this grid plugin. So if we go ahead, we can actually make it so that there's no columns. We can make the overlay a little bit darker and have a lighter play button. There's a lot of different options to do with this. And then of course we have our famous carousel option where we can go ahead and have a carousel of all of the videos that we have on the um, plugin. Let's go ahead and dive right into this. You're gonna go ahead and type in video, and you're gonna go ahead and click in video gallery once you're in the Elementor page builder. From there, we're gonna go ahead, and as you see, we have our six default videos. The brown ones are YouTube, and the blue ones are Vimeo. So we're just showing you this so that you can mix in between Vimeo and YouTube videos, uh, and you don't have to always have one from a specific source. So when we're in here, we see our six videos over here on the left hand side. We can add more videos if need be. We can go ahead and keep adding those videos. And then we can also remove the videos that we don't want to have inside of this grid anymore. So we can have a limit of three, gal or three videos if we want to do that. These two are YouTube and this one is Vimeo. So let's dive right into the first video. We have the video type of YouTube video or Vimeo video. Just be sure to choose whichever source you're going to be pasted in the video URL right here. And then our video URL right here, we have this one. Uh, be sure that you have a valid YouTube or Vimeo URL and it's not one of the short URLs. You'll tell because there's a dot between the U2 and the BE. So make sure that you're not using a short link and that you're using the full length YouTube or Vimeo video. And here's the example for Vimeo right here. And we don't want to use the long channel staff picks, things of that nature. So we want to keep it short for there and, and then long for YouTube. So once we paste in the URL for the video, we have a couple different options, the caption and the categories. So the caption, when you hover over top of the video, you'll see the words first video and YouTube. The top one is the title and the bottom one is the category. So for example, let's do how to make a video gallery. And this is the UAEL plugin. So we wanna go ahead and make that the category. So we have that changed here and we can add different categories by just putting a comma and then type it in another category. So we can do Elementor because this is an Elementor plugin. So we can go ahead and do that. We also have the ability to do a custom thumbnail. So if we go ahead and click and toggle, toggle that on, we can go ahead and choose a thumbnail that we've gone ahead and picked before. And then right now it goes and covers over top of that, the choose your video image and it still has the title and the the categories below so we have those right there let me just put a space right there so we have that set up right here just like this and we have this big play button and we'll go into how to change this in just a bit so let's go ahead to another video let's do how to install uael and then we can go ahead and do the categories as just UAEL. And then we have this title and we have this category here. We can leave this thumbnail just as it is. And then we'll go ahead and do our last one.
All right, so we have the caption, how to install Astra, and then the category of Astra right there. So we have that. And then we, of course, we could do our custom thumbnail on this image as well. So once we've gone ahead and done that, we can go down to the general tab. And this is where we get to pick what our layout's going to be. So if we have a grid, or we can do a carousel. If we do a carousel, it's automatically going to add the dots, and if we have more, then the navigation on the right. So let's go ahead and choose two columns. And you can see that we have this ability to scroll through the carousel just like this. We have a few different options here for layout. We have an aspect ratio of 69, 43, and 32. So we can go ahead and change those depending on our videos that we have. Most of the time, you're going to keep this at 16.9. And then the click action, we have play in light box or play in line. So if we click the play in light box. When we click on the video, it's going to open up into a bigger screen. And I'll show you guys this once we update the page and show you the preview. It's going to update into a bigger screen. But if you click play in line, it's going to stay within this smaller box and it's going to play the video within there. And I'll show you guys that in just a bit. Then we have ordering, so we can do default or random. So if you guys want these videos in a random order, we can have it set as that as well. We have other options for the carousel. We can show arrows, dots, arrows and dots, or none. So we have those ability to go ahead and change that. We have the autoplay feature, so we can actually autoplay these videos so that they scroll through every so often. I have them set on one second. And then we also have the ability to do infinite loop with the, uh, the carousel. So as you can see, if I keep navigating over, it's going to just keep going and going. If I turn this off, then it's not going to keep going once I keep clicking. And then we also have the transition speed right here. Or when it tra transitions over, we can do this at a much slower rate. So we have something like that a little bit smoother. If we go back and click on general, go back to the grid, we have a few other options here as well. So we have columns, so let's make this back to three. And then we have a new section called filterable tabs. If we turn this on, this allows us to have our categories up here above our, tag, our, above our videos. So we have the UAEL, we have the Elementor, and we have the Astra. So this is a live updating of whichever category you pick on right here. We also have the ability to change the all tab so we can make this all or we can make this all videos, something of that nature. All right, so a couple different options right here. We have default tab on page load. So we can enter the category name. So if we don't want all of the videos to load, maybe we're doing specific pages, but we want to use the same uh, element, the same widget on all pages, but maybe this is an Elementor only page and we want to show that first. So we go ahead and type in Elementor, and then once this page loads, automatically going to load all of the Elementor only videos. All of these other tabs are still going to be here, which is great if they want to see all the other videos, but if we're on a specific page where we only want to show UAEL, Elementor or Astro videos, we can just load those first, which is which is really awesome. And then we've gone ahead and we have the title for filterable tab. Right here, we just have these categories. If we turn this on, they're gonna move over to the right and we have the title over here on the left. So you can see how to videos. We can type this in and we can go ahead and change this title up right here. So let's go ahead and style this up a bit. For the styling, we have the columns gap. We can actually make this zero so that they are completely next to each other. And then we have the rows gap where we can go ahead and shorten that as well. And what this is going to do is if we go ahead and trip, if we go ahead and duplicate some more options, we see that they're all very close together. And then if we go ahead and do the columns gap, we can go ahead and make them so they're farther apart. A little bit of a cleaner look or more of a minimal look as you saw on our demo page. So let's move on to title. So the title right here that we're talking about is right up here, the how-to videos. We can go ahead and change this HTML tag to be whatever we need for SEO purposes. 
And then we can change the color right up here. So we can make this a dark blue. I like that. And then we can also change the topography right here. So we have the font family, uh, font size, if we want to change that, and all of our different options right there. And then we can have this stack on tablet or mobile. Let's go ahead and show you what that looks like. If we go to mobile, we have this stacking on mobile, but not tablet. If we go to switch this to tablet, this is going to stack on tablet. I prefer it stacking actually on tablet. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it like that. All right, let's go to the filterable tabs. Uh, so we have all of this right here on the right hand side next to the title. We have our options to change our topography. So if we wanted to change this, we can go ahead and change the font, font size. We can uppercase all of this. We can do a lot of different options with this. And then we have our padding options. Spacing between the tabs, we can go ahead and increase or decrease that. And then the bottom spacing, if we want this to be further away from the videos or closer to the videos, we have those options as well. For the text color, we can go ahead and change that. Let's change the background to the same blue that we had. And we're going to go ahead and change the, I'm sorry, let's go ahead and clear that. Make this the same blue. And then on hover, we want this background to be blue and then this hover color to be white. So when you go over like this, you have your styling that looks similar to the how to videos over there. So we can go ahead and click on these categories. For the play button, what we can do is we can choose an image or an icon. So right now we have the icon with the play icon and it applies it across all of the videos. You're not able to do uh, single videos, it all applies across all the videos. So we want to go ahead and upload a custom image. So let's go ahead and choose the one that we uploaded before. And we have that one. We can increase the size of this video play button. And then we're going to go ahead and style this a little bit more so it's more visible. Go to the content and we have overlay color. So if we want this overlay color to be a bit more lighter we can do something along these lines and then we can have it so that when you hover over top of it we can make it a little bit of a, a black so that when you go like this you hover over top of it we can see the title we can see the category we can see the play button everything looks great we have a few different options we can actually toggle the caption and the category to be shown on hover so we can go ahead and toggle those on and off. And when we hover, there won't be any text over the video. We also have the option to change the caption and category color and topography. So when we hover over top of this, we can actually make this a different color. For example, if we wanted to make this light blue, we can go ahead and make that light blue just like that. Let's go ahead and turn this back on. And we have all of those different options. Now that we've gone ahead and we've added all of our videos to our site and we've gone ahead and styled it the way we want it to look, uh, we want to make sure that our website is not going to be slowed down. And if you guys are familiar with the video element inside of the same plugin right here, we have optimized our videos so that it does not slow your website down on load time. It doesn't actually pull the video in from YouTube or Vimeo until you actually click on the play button and this helps with load time because what we're doing is all we're doing in is pulling in a screenshot so that we don't have to slow down the website if you're not familiar with any of the speed tests we ran in our previous video i would definitely suggest you take a look at those because that really shows the big difference of about a half a second to a full second of load time that you don't have to pull in the youtube link or the vimeo link for each one of these videos. So we're bringing in that same speed optimizations that we have in our video element into our video gallery element. So if you have any doubts about that, let us know in the comments below and we'll be sure to help you guys out with that because everything is completely optimized uh, the same way that we did with the video element. I hope you guys find this video useful. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more such videos and we will see you guys next time.